Top story this morning. After three years since the FBI took over, there's been a breakthrough in the Crystal Rogers case. Yeah, we've been told a Nelson County man has been arrested in the case and handed over to Kentucky State Police. Jim Stratman joins us live this morning from Barstown. And Jim, we're still really working to figure out the suspect's connection to the case here. Yeah, that's right, Eric, because the indictment in this case, while it has already happened, it's not a it's not an unsealed indictment. It is currently sealed, so we can't see the details of it and see directly how Joseph Lawson is connected to the Crystal Rogers case. But what we can say is that last night, Lawson's attorney, Kevin Coleman, confirmed to us that the charges his client is facing are related to Crystal Rogers disappearance and the federal investigation that's been going on for the last three years. Now, this is a breakthrough in a case that some probably thought would never come because of how long it has been since Rogers disappeared. But it is here and that is giving some hope to some and we are learning more about what exactly is going to be the next steps in this investigation. Now we know that these are not small charges that Lawson is facing. He is facing a conspiracy murder charge and a tampering with physical evidence charge. His indictment is again currently sealed so that direct connection is something that we do not know. We'll have to find that out a little bit later on down the line. Lawson does have a criminal history though, including criminal trespassing, burglary, and three counts of criminal mischief. According to court documents, Lawson was arraigned on both the conspiracy murder charge and the tampering with physical evidence charge yesterday. His next court appearance is set to be at the end of October for a pretrial conference. Currently, he is in the custody of Kentucky State Police, and we have been told that this will be a federal case that he is charged in. Eric Haley. And substantive reporting from Jim out of Barstown. Jim, thank you. We will continue to cover this story throughout the day and bring you more information as it comes in. For the latest updates and an in-depth timeline in the Crystal Rogers case, just head to our website, whas11.com. You can also download our free news app.